Hello, Leo. Welcome to your love reading. Please only take what resonates, what makes sense, what fits for you. Whatever doesn't resonate, please just leave it on out. It may be a message for someone else. I'm going to take a look at you, your person. Uh, we'll get into the connection between the two of you. And after tarot, I'll pull some oracle cards for you as well. Uh, please like and subscribe, Leo, because we're going to get right into it. Here we go. All right. Okay, Leo, three of wands here. All right, so this is expansion. This is a relationship that uh, has been really, it's almost like paying its due, right? Being patient to move forward together. Uh, you have the chariot here, so definitely forward movement. I feel like this is a really exciting time for you in love. I feel like there's a lot of confidence here moving forward with this person and you seeing a lot of potential. Uh, it may feel like you've always wanted this person, like you've manifested this person. Uh, there's a beautiful magic here to this connection. Feeling really called to each other. Wow, this is this is how you feel, really called to this person. I feel like there's a lot that you're thinking about when it comes to healing and how this energy feels more light, feels more happy. Things are just flowing. There's a lot here about flowing, that beautiful magic, that beautiful power, right? the essence here between you and your person and how you're feeling. Brave, ready, determined, excited, waiting for things to line up. You might be waiting for something to happen here when it comes to you and this person. Let's get a little more. The world, completion, success, victory here. So again, you and this person really ready to move this along, to move forward here, taking this to the next level, getting on the same page together. Okay, let's get more here for you. Three of Wands, the Chariot, Magician and Judgment. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. All right. So we have the Six of Wands. Beautiful. The Ten of Cups, the Knight of Swords. There's that brave energy. There's that ready to make this happen. Came right on top of that Magician too. All right. Well, oh, beautiful. Two of Cups. Beautiful love here. Beautiful chemistry here. Uh, I feel like for those of you, this is if, if it's new, uh, it feels like right now you two are really connecting and vibing well, really truly on wanting to understand each other, right? Just really in that in that energy where it's fresh and it's fun and it's exciting. But I feel like you are really wanting more. You see so much potential with this person, so much happiness with this person. Four of Swords, taking a lot of time to think about things here. Uh, this is definitely a time where you're feeling, again, refreshed and ready. Ready to take on this new venture with this person. All right, let's 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 go to your person. Let's see. Really beautiful energy. So we have Gemini Virgo here. We have Cancer. All right. Look at this beautiful ace of wands passion this is new this is definitely new for a lot of you this person is feeling really excited as well this person feels very determined uh this person is focused on you it's all about the movement here in this connection with the two of you the moon here i think this person dreams about you they dream about uh where you two are going to be going here there's beautiful strength here this person cares about you so much potential here. I feel like things are just beginning for you and this person. Like you two are really starting to create uh, what it is that you want as far as a relationship together. I feel like where there have been, for some of you, where there have been a lot of issues, this is a time where this person is wanting to step up, wanting to take action, wanting to reveal things that need to be revealed, meaning being honest, being truthful. There's a lot of healing going back to your energy, a lot of healing together, a lot of coming together to do just that, to move forward, to heal 
to be happy. This person is feeling confident. This person is feeling the strength here to do so. This person also feels like there's changes here for the better. Like there's a lot that's happening. There's a lot that you two are rebuilding together, letting go of uh, uh, negative cycles, right? Negative patterns that this person may have had uh, that really contributed to um, a lot of stress, or a lot of negatives really that you two have went through together. This is for some of you. There's definitely a releasing of that. I feel like you two are really being really strong together when it comes to your wants here, when it comes to this commitment, because it's really important. I feel like the both of you are really focused on each other. This person can be a Capricorn. This person can be a Pisces. This person can be Leo. Scorpio, Aries. Yeah, this person is really determined and it's like they're ready to just get rid of all the things that need to be let go of to move forward. It's like taking that strong action, being clear of what needs to be done. Let's get more here. Okay. Yeah. The action here that this person wants to take, it's all about being with you. It's all about commitment. It's all about you two being happy together. Uh, this person is ready for the hard work. This person is ready to grow. Look, their eye is on you, Leo. Big time here. So much happiness here on your side. And this person just, they want to keep that going. This person wants to be able to surprise you here with an offer that it, it solidifies you to uh, starting something long and successful together, that happiness together. This person is ready. This person is fully focused here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it doesn't get much more clear than this. There was a time of space, a lot to think about, a lot for you two to heal from. But this person is focused on that happy space space, the space where things feel better, the space where things feel more calm, the space where you two can really, again, connect together in a more healthy way and just flourish and take off. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants long term with you. This person is really working to build a future with you. This is their goal, long term goals here. Hey, let's see. All right. There's a lot of war here and a lot of stress. Some of you may feel like there needs to be more looked into or this person has more uh, that they need to look into that they need to be clear about. I'm taking that direction forward, but I feel like communication is key here. I feel like being open and honest about feelings here, about issues here, about the obstacles you two have had is what is going to allow this beautiful growth here. Yeah, see, it all comes back to that peace, feeling rested, taking time to think, letting go of stress, the burden, dealing with it together, not alone, not separate, but really coming together to put in that work because you two genuinely care about each other. There is a way forward here. I feel like that's what you two are working so hard for and why there is such reward here. There's such benefit here. There's so much of you two wanting to come together and support each other, right? Having a family, just being together, enjoying moments, enjoying life, having more peace because there has been a lot of stress. I feel like there's a lot being looked into right now. There's a lot of truth as well, a lot of communication. So there's a lot going on for a lot of you here when it comes to this person. But what I keep seeing here is so much about support and wanting to go through this together, but for a right reason, right? For a more happy reason. I hope that makes sense, you guys, because it's all about uh, really being happy together. At the end of the day, that's what I'm seeing here in these cards. It's not easy. There's a lot of hard work here that needs to be done, but it's all about being solid, being grounded together. So some of you may feel like you're taking a break. You need to take a break from this person, but there is going to be communication here. That Ace of Swords, definitely going to be communication here coming in about moving forward, about the path ahead, about seeing clear, Leo. Let's see, let's get a little more.
Okay. Justice. Yeah, definitely needs to be some truth here. There's a lot I feel that needs to be revealed. Some serious topics that you two need to cover. You two need to talk about. But again, wanting to take action. It's all about being honest. I feel like that's what's really important here when it comes to moving forward. When it comes to this confidence that you have, this person has. Uh, you both have it when it comes to being together and things are going to happen here because it's like the two of you want to make things happen no matter what you're not giving up it's like this person wants to come in and be there you two are wanting to go through go through it all together but it's all for love here it truly is it's like so much look at this so much going on there is there's a lot going on here there's a lot to juggle here all right it may be very up and down or it's felt that way for some of you with this connection but all this hard work, all this effort, I feel like it's it's truly for something here. Because again, it's all about putting in that work together, not feeling so tired. Because you have a partner. You have someone here who is with you, who wants you to be happy, who is willing to go through the ups and the downs with you, maintaining together here. So again, it is really beautiful. It's a very strong connection. I feel like you guys are really devoted to each other accepting of each other right the good the bad and everything but there's more good here so let's take a look ahead here Leo you have Gemini here you have Libra as well okay Ten of Wands, Temperance, taking time, taking the right time that feels right for you, I feel is really important here when it comes to all the stress. Uh, there's that world again, completion here, ending certain cycles, letting go. There's a lot of things going on and it may be causing a lot of conflict here. So what I feel is important is to get on the same page. But for those of you who feel like this is the time to get out of a certain cycle, this may be the time that you're like, look, I am going to move forward. I am going to move on, especially if you can't connect, you can't come together in a more balanced way. I feel like some of you are going to walk away, but for others here, there is a connecting and healing and working on certain issues together because there has been a lot, but it can't be carried by one person. I feel like there's, there's a, a need for contribution here from both sides to really want this to work. So we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Sag, a lot going on here. For some of you, this is a new beginning with this person starting over completely fresh eliminating these patterns here conflict here so let's get some oracle cards here let's get some more wearing a mask here let's see okay one more oh okay <laughs> let's let's see i'm gonna take i'll take this one all right heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together Feeling so comfortable with this person and connected to where it feels safe to be open to love. Now, mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend. Someone here is hiding. Someone here is keeping things concealed. Someone here has a lot that they need to talk about here. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, separation. There's been a breakup for some of you or a separation here because of hurt, because of conflict engagement ring partnership commitment see there's that 
uh, being solid together, this union completion. You have that world here and it kept coming up for you in this reading. And I do strongly feel like there's a relationship here where you and this person are going to be so solid and it hasn't been easy. It's taken a lot of work, but getting to that point where you two are ready to move forward and move on, this is what you move forward and on to true union, true partnership, being engaged, getting married, having a family photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, time to make new memories. All right. There's a lot here. Some of you just feel like you're really happy right now. Like you're on cloud nine with someone like it just, there's so much joy with this person. Um, you're just enjoying each other, enjoying getting to know each other. All right, let's see. There's one reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. See, someone wants to connect. Someone wants to apologize. Someone may want another chance here, Leo. That's for some of you. Retreat. It's time to disconnect. There's that separation. Then we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Spending a lot of time with someone here, but enjoying it. It feels really good. It feels really exciting. It feels really happy. Let's see. All right. Acceptance and optimism. This is a time you're feeling good. Stay optimistic. All right. Staying optimistic and accepting your current situation helps you attract more joy and happiness into your life in general. The right person will come to you when you're ready. Because you had so many cards of just being so happy and being in good energy, Leo. Feeling good. <laughs> Okay. Karmic relationship. This connection serves as a catalyst to prepare you for the real high vibrational love, meaning that one, you are feeling very pulled to this person. Therefore, it appears to be the real thing, but it's not. Integrate the lessons that need to be learned. Some of you might be dealing with someone and this person is wearing a mask. This person isn't revealing a lot. This person may be very secretive about certain things here. All right. You may be feeling like there's something that needs to be looked into further, or there's more that you need to know here. So there's a lot to learn and it does feel like it's someone that you are very pulled to. Okay. New love. A new door to love will soon open for you. New love for you is on the way. This can also be a new phase in a relationship. Enjoy the excitement. Yeah, so please take it how it resonates because either way, even if it's a reconciliation and you're trying to work through things with your person, it's, it is like a new phase for you and this person. For others who feel like, you know what, I'm getting to the point where something isn't right here. This person doesn't really seem like they are who they are saying, you know, they are. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. Some of you might be feeling that here, retreating, right? Disconnecting, uh, protecting yourself, putting a little bit of a boundary up because there's new love coming in. Okay, let's see. Please don't give up on me. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. Okay. There's two here. All right. I'm realizing this connection is something special and worth treasuring. Someone wants to hold on to this. Someone is realizing how valuable, how special this connection is. Here's more about karmic ties here. I'm not happy. Karma, 
behaviors, people, and or situations is playing a role in what's happening with me. And it's hard for me to see a way out. Some of you might be dealing with a situation here where there's multiple people causing issues. Okay. This could be family drama. This could be friends causing drama, whatever it may be. There's a lot coming from a multiple directions here. And it almost might have you to where you feel like, okay, I don't know what to do. How am I going to get out of this? Can I see a way out of this? It's, it's, it's almost like a sticky situation here. Okay. You show up in my dreams. It helps me process buried memories. Yeah, there is definitely someone here that is thinking about you a lot, dreaming about you. Okay, let's get some more. Virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. I feel like what's really important too, Leo, is knowing how much love that you put into a person. And just you being who you are, I feel like it really inspires someone here to grow, to want to change, to want to, to do better. It's all a part of learning. Loyalty. All right. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion. Very devoted, giving a lot of love, compassion, understanding, and consist consistency of being. This person knows you're very loyal. They know you are very loyal. They know that you have been really understanding, Leo. This person sees a lot of value here. And there is someone here who wants to change and wants to rebuild. They want to reconcile. I feel like this person also has a lot of emotions that are buried, certain feelings that have been buried, that they haven't really revealed or they haven't been honest about. Let's see. Oh, okay. Consequences here. There are certain things that are causing uh, an effect here. Someone is feeling really regretful. Someone is feeling the consequences of their actions. There's a lot here. Expectations. No longer going to deal with someone who isn't being loyal. Someone who doesn't see how much you put in, how loving you are, and want to give that back. Because this is definitely a time of you being optimistic, Leo, and accepting certain situations here and change here. And allowing all this happiness to flow in for you because there's so much here in your energy about you being happy. But someone here is facing consequences here. And you might have some high expectations here. And again, there's a lot of being clear and direct, letting this person know. It's almost like laying down the law in a way. I feel like this is the communication here. This is the conversation that will happen, really. Like it needs to be had. It needs to happen. Expectations here. Dealing with these consequences. Facing these consequences here. All right, let's get more. All right, clear your mind, taking that break, taking that space, right? To refocus, to recharge yourself. Take inspired action. 
There's a lot of feelings that need to be worked through here. Look at this. Work through your feelings. But when we get right down to it, what does it come back to, Leo? New, mean, new moon and Leo. You being happy. You being ready to shine because you are happy and you're feeling good. This is the outcome here for you. You feeling good. There's a lot that needs to be worked out and worked through. separation separation is not the end someone is returning here okay that is for some of you timing allow events to unfold in its correct time look at this return someone from your past may return yeah it's very clear here Love. Love yourself and feel the love within your heart. Being open, being ready for love. Twin flame. You may have met or about to meet your twin flame. Okay. Commitment. Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. Someone who's really going to be committed to you. Someone who's going to want to marry you. This is a beautiful bond. Telepathic, close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized, creating moments of telepathy. This is that connection. This is how strong, this is how intense, this is how it's going to be with you and this person really getting each other. That energy, you pick up on each other, all right? You understand when someone is hurt, you understand if someone is unhappy, you understand if someone needs more. Uh, you just have that spark, you just have that telepathic connection, being able to read each other's minds, right? Sense if there's something wrong, uh, even sense if you've done something right. It's just very, really, really connected and it's really beautiful. So when I read on uh, your person, I got so much here about this person being so focused on you and so dedicated, so committed. And that's usually how it is. Good things don't come easy. It does take work and it takes commitment. But when that's put in, you can really shine here. All right. But for a lot of you, it's just like love is in the air. Like you're just so in love with this person. You two are enjoying each other. <laughs> it feels right. All right, let's see. No words. Someone here is quiet. Someone here can't find the words. Someone here doesn't know what to say. There's a fresh start for those of you who are clearing your energy, taking some separation to just, you know, focus on you to get you together, to even heal from heartbreak. There's a beautiful fresh start here. Some things were too intense and sometimes you need to say stop. You need to say pause. You need to take time. <laughs> Let's see. Strongly attracted. A magnetic pull, instant connection. All right, let's see. Let's get two.
You are so beautiful. I feel like when this person met you, they were instantly attracted. And it doesn't just have to be physical. It could be anything. It could be just something was just, it was just drawing them to you. They just find it so beautiful, so alluring here. No, I'm not happy. A lot here about, listen, you're just not happy. There's just too much. It is too intense. Some of you had to pump the brakes. Some of you just need to, you know, you just felt the need to get away, to take time because there's too much going on. And a lot of this could be from other people, other factors, right? Drama, chaos, conflict. All right, let's see. Let's just say here love me or leave me either you're in or you're out there's no back and forth no in between there's either love here or you're moving on to a fresh new start someone who's going to be committed to you Someone who will have the words, who can speak their mind, who can be honest, who can be upfront, who can answer questions, can show you what you need to see. All right. Higher power here. A lot of you are really tapping into your inner wisdom here, your intuition, feeling called uh, to do certain things here that are going to move you forward, advance you forward, right? Things are going to start aligning. A lot of you have been patiently waiting for this connection to get right, but in a way it's almost sacrificing your happiness here. So now is a time where you're really tuning into the divine and feeling that higher power calling you to something better. This is the something better. A partner for life, someone who gets you, this energy that I was picking up on someone so focused, dedicated there and with it. Someone who has that uh, telepathic connection with you, your soulmate. Beautiful calling here. Beautiful calling in here. Okay. Let's see. This card is so cute. <laughs> Just notice too, this penguin who's comforting their penguin partner, they have a key. You have an engagement ring. You had heart with a key. It's beautiful. Very strong soulmate energy here. A life partner here. All right. One more. Like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. Some of you may need to be more loving to yourselves. Some of you, again, are in that process, taking time to love you. Very important here. The beautiful energy, the colors in this card. This is that energy you put out when you truly are just healed. You truly feel recharged. And you've had time to focus on you. How you, how good you feel about you, you put it out there. And it attracts that person, this beautiful penguin partner that is dedicated to you and shows you the love that you deserve. You've always deserved. And never let go of that. Like attracts like. Love attracts love. Feeling called to so much more. Soulmate energy. True happiness. Leo, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like, subscribe. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.